Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject, Advanced Computer Architecture is a Branch Handling Techniques. Okay, so we all know that the performance of a pipeline processor is limited by two factors. What are the two factors? Let me tell you. The two factors are a data dependencies, data depend, dependency and branch instruction. So the performance of a pipeline processor is depends upon these two factors. So we already discussed about the data dependency, right or wrong? If you didn't know that, please watch my previous video. Then you will understand what exactly the data dependency. How the performance of a pipeline processor is limited by using the data dependency. It means whatever the uh, problem that occur in data dependency, how we overcome that. Okay. So now in this video, I want to explain you. Uh, one of the performance uh, to increase the performance of a pipeline processor in the branch instructions what uh, factors we need to be considered so that I am going to explain in this video okay so uh, the conditional branches when we, whenever we are talking about branches but the first thing we are ca it came into our mind is a conditional branches means whenever the condition is true it will the the controller will jump to that condition so whenever the condition is false it the uh, sequence of instructions is going in a uh, sequence manner okay so the condition may uh, conditional and unconditional is also there unconditional means direct it is asking to jump to that particular location like 2003 okay so there is no condition it is not checking any condition it is directly asking us to jump so instruction one instruction two instruction three instruction four like that it is there whenever instruction three is there it is asking us to jump to the 2003 location so 2003 location is somewhere at present and it is of instruction 12 so the controller will jump to that location so there is no condition here the it is a, it is giving an address and the controller is jumping to that particular address okay so branch instruction so when we are talking about the branch instruction uh, the conditional branches present in the program right or wrong in any program some conditions are there so a program consisting of some conditions so it affects the performance of a system the presence uh, the presence of conditional pro let me write that point the conditional branches presents in program presence in program affects the performance of a system how it is going to affect the performance of a system because whenever the condition is occurred the controller has to jump to that location suppose if it is the condition is satisfied or not we don't know that but it is going to jump to that location if output is wrong again it come back to that position so it is like it is going to affect the pro performance of a system and it is going to uh, create a stalls okay it creates a stalls in the program stalls means a waiting a create a waiting is more so to to minimize the stalls to minimize the stalls associated with the control hazards whatever the control hazards are occurring here when uh, uh, so to minimize that an efficient branch prediction mechanism has to be used branch prediction mechanism has to be used so why we are using the branch prediction mechanism because because of using the conditional branches that are present in the program the performance of a system is getting decreased because of uh, creating the stalls so to minimize the stalls okay which are associated with the control hazards an efficient branch prediction mechanism has to be used so there are two types of now coming to our concept there are two types of branch predictions two types of branch predictions can you guess what are the two types of branch prediction techniques i think you are already aware of this a two types of branch prediction techniques or one is static branch prediction technique static branch prediction technique and another one is the dynamic dynamic branch prediction technique 
okay so these are the two different types of branch prediction techniques why we are going for the branch prediction techniques because to minimize the stalls that are associated with the control hazards so for branching also we require some an efficient branch prediction mechanisms so the two efficient branch uh, efficient branch prediction mechanisms are one is a static and another is a dynamic okay so now let's see what exactly the static branch prediction here is so we are entering into our concept now so far whatever i explain is only the introduction part so let me explain you the static branch prediction technique okay so this we will continue in the next video student thank you